I installed this 1800 watt inverter in my motorhome and uh, there's lots of videos on that subject. Not that hard to do, uh, plenty of information. So <clears throat> the problem is I couldn't find any good information on how to turn my converter off when I use my inverter. The converter for charging the batteries can't be on while you're using your inverter because it's just creates a circle and that'll drain your battery and do nothing. So switching the converter off can be a bit of a problem and that's what I wanted to find <clears throat> excuse me that's what I wanted to find the answer to did not find it on YouTube if it's there I couldn't find it so I came up with my own solution and we're gonna go over that next okay here's the control panel area in my motorhome and uh, I've installed a switch for that inverter. This inverter came with a nice switch which is installed inside. So here's a scenario. We're driving, traveling, or dry camping and we want some inverter power. <clears throat> when we start the generator we want the converter to work so it's hooked up normally and if I started the generator the converter would run and charge the batteries. But if I reach over and turn my inverter on I don't want to have to go outside and physically do something to disconnect my converter because you can't like I said can't be running the converter and inverter at the same time so I needed a switching device to take care of that and that's what this video is about just want to touch on a couple more things before we go to the uh, switch every motorhome Every RV is a little bit different, so your wiring, your setup may be completely different than mine. In my case, this, my converter, has an outlet on it, has a cord on it that plugs in to an outlet in my electrical bay. That's where it gets its power to charge the batteries. So it's basically just plugged in. These are the parts I purchased for my little cutout switch. Uh, most of this you can get at the hardware store, very simple. Uh, this switch I bought on Amazon, a little over $17. Uh, this is going to be the brains of it. Very simple. It's just a, uh, a relay. And uh, what it does is, when I get it installed, uh, the inverter power will hook to the 0 volt and the 110 volt AC on the one side. And uh, the, the outlet for my converter will be connected to, through, the common and the normally closed. So when it says normally closed, power will run through uh, this switch to power the converter, but when the voltage is applied to the inverter, that switch will open and the converter will be turned off. Okay, a little wiring review before I button this up so there's no confusion. This outlet is from the inverter. This outlet is the same outlet, basically, as what was in the motorhome before that's live when you plug into shore power. Only now, the inverter line is wired, the wire that comes in, white to white, black to black, ground to ground. The only thing is, the relay wires, the white and the black relay wires, are also connected to the white and the black on the back of the outlet in order to power the relay. On this line here, it's wired the same as it was, ground to ground, white to white, with the only difference being the black now goes through the relay. I use the yellow wire there and the blue wire out of the relay now goes to the other side where the black would go. So the relay controls this outlet and this is the outlet that the converter will be plugged into so the, the inverter will turn this outlet on and off now okay all right here's the finished product again just to recap my 
50 amp line plugs into this plug I've added to my electrical bay. I have a cord which I have pulled in right now and plugged into the inverter connection. Here is the new connection box. Uh, the left side's inverter. Only comes on if the inverter is turned on. The right side is live if the if you're plugged into shore power or the generator's running. But when the inverter comes on, it turns off the right side, the shore power generator power plug, and therefore my converter is shut off when I'm running on the inverter, which is necessary. I don't have anything to remember. You uh, might not need quite such a long piece here, or you can even wire it direct uh, to this big plug if you have a different arrangement. I like this because this piece here that I made also serves as a 50 amp to 15 amp adapter. And uh, since I have 15 amp at home, I use that all the time. It eliminates the need for two adapters, 50 to 30 and 30 to 15. So it makes it easy if I want to uh, plug in some. I've stayed many places where they only had a 15 amp plug and you can just plug into that and run extension cord. You don't even have to pull out your 50 amp cord. So I like that. Uh, it kills two birds with one stone. So that's my arrangement. Hope it works for you.